And here's another problem where we're trying to measure the distance across a river. So you can draw this in. What we're looking for is this distance right here, the distance directly across. So let's call that D. And we're told that we spot a rock on the opposite shore. That's at this point right here. And we measure the angle that our line of sight makes from two points that are 100 meters apart. So it's 100 meters from this point here on the left to this one here on the right. And the angles that we measure from, from this point over to the rock, our line of sight makes a 50 degree angle with the shore. And from this point over to the rock, we have a 41 degree angle to the shore. And we want to find distance D. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this distance here X. That means that this distance here has to be 100 minus X. That distance D right there is perpendicular to the shore. So I have two right triangles in my diagram. I'll look at the one on the left and I'll say that the tangent of 50 degrees has to be D over X. And then solve that for X. X is going to be D over the tangent of 50. Okay, and, and d over the tangent of 50, I can do this on the calculator. 1 over the tangent of 50 is 0.8391. So x is 0.8391d. Okay, now let's look at the triangle on the right. I have a 41 degree angle here. So the tangent of 41 degrees will be opposite over adjacent. Tangent of 41 degrees will be D over 100 minus X. And then solve that for X. Okay, let's rearrange this algebraically and we get 100 minus X is equal to D over the tangent of 41 degrees. And 1 over the tangent of 41 is 1.1504. So I can write 100 minus x equals 1.1504d. And then I can rearrange that algebraically to solve for x. And x comes out to be 100 minus 1.1504d. Okay, and then from here it's just uh, a little bit of algebra. Okay, x is equal to this and x is equal to that, so this must equal that. So let's write 0 0.83, let me get that a little bit neater, uh, 0.8391d equals 100 minus 1.1504 D. And I can solve this for D. And D, remember, is my goal. D is what I'm trying to find. So I'll add 1.1504 D to each side. So Okay, that gets rid of those. And on the left, 0.8391 D plus 1.1504d gives me 1.9895d equals 100. So d must be 100 over 1.9895. And that comes out to 50.3 meters. That's the distance across the stream based on those measurements.